All right, time for some solo gathering in the black zone from the Lumhurst portal, but this time with height gathering gear. Um, I will go to Thirstwater Waste and Thirstwater Gully and see if I can actually fill my inventory with juicy tier 6 height there. Otherwise, the places around Lumhurst are not that not that interesting for height gatherings slake sands misa would kind of be okay but it could also be empty and then i have nothing close by forest zones are not that amazing for height gathering but they're okay i would prefer tier six deserts but that's a little bit hard around limhurst I could be playing on Bridge Watch to do this, which would probably be better. I would have more tier 6 desert zones there. But let's try it and see if these two maps combined are good enough for me. And let's see if these two maps are not too dangerous. In theory, I can also go to the Demonian Keep, which is a very dangerous map, but I should find some tier 6 height there as well. Let's see, high tree strand, high tree levy. Southwest. Height gathering around Lumos should not be as easy and comfortable as ore gathering. Also, tier 6 side is probably not as valuable in Limhurst as it is, for example, in Fort Sterling and Martlock. Probably should go for tier 6 height gathering from Martlock and Fort Sterling. Stedford probably also a little bit, a little bit better than Limhurst, but... Probably should be going for gathering in black zone portals when you want to teleport home like me in maps uh, in towns that do not have those resources that you want to mainly sell as a main resource so you get a better price because not too many people are gathering those there. No single person yet. I believe really, I can already gather tier six hide here. Um, from here, I want to go to the northwest. I doubt that I would find too much hide here. But let's see. A lot of animals in this place very interesting optimally i do not want to use my e so i have at least uh, this additional escape ability I also don't really want to use the special sprint of the <laughs> skinning boot simply because they do not have too much extra movement speed everybody else is going to be equally as quick and I will silence myself for 13 seconds not really something I want one out of five only. The others had two out of five. Finding tons of wood. <laughs> but wood should also have a pretty bad price in Limhurst. But I guess I'm taking it while I'm already here. How valuable is it right now? 500. That's pretty bad. 500 per piece. I should have used my armor. I'm seeing quite a few animals though. Hmm. 
not too terrible. It may be the time of the day that is helping me out a lot. So can I reach this without getting aggro of the silly mage? I can. A lot of animals. Those trees are in the way. Cannot see anything. A lot of animals, a lot of pieces on these animals. Not too shabby. I'm really curious to see if I will find a lot of hyenas in the upcoming tier 6 desert. Because if I will, I may make more money than with all gathering. So much wood. Infinite amounts of wood. But it's not that valuable. Six point one is pretty fine though. Well, I'm only one map away from town. I'm finding so many resources, probably because of the time of the day and probably because it's a Monday. Just a free day in Germany, so... It may not be the same case for other countries. All this stuff just respawned, but probably only one piece, right? Well, the time of the day is what matters the most. And it's about finding resources. I don't want to get hit by the slow. Really want to dodge that. Well, these do not have too many pieces. I'm very close to a hideout as well, so would make sense if somebody was gathering. But maybe it's not their time of the day. Already on 22% carry weight. I'm finding so much stuff. Mainly wood though. looking forward to actually getting out of this map but maybe i shouldn't maybe i should just be gathering this whole map but then i would mainly be getting wood i think i'm not seeing an end a million tier six trees most of them being five out of five Do I have enough lumberjack channels? I do. Well, I got more tier 6 wood than tier 6 hide, but... The tier 6 hide that I've gotten is worth more. Plus two. Finally. Oh well, maybe I had to uh, get the bonus plus two already, but didn't pay attention. 
I also thought about I could be using royal sandals actually. But in the end, I won't be gathering bonus. So let's try it like this. Running around in the black zone like this. Not too far away, not too deep. Hasn't been too dangerous so far, so... I mean, I'm getting by while using the boar. High carry weight. Not the best mobility, but hey. If I don't die, why not? If there's nobody dangerous around, feel me? Then I may as well do use this stuff. Small chest. I'm not seeing people, so I could think about checking out the chest. I would definitely <laughs> need the time anyways to gather all these. Tier 6 trees that are in my way, that are blocking me from leaving this map. I will definitely look at the chest. So I'm going to check out the northern corner first. Because it's still a little bit of time left. No resources. My poison buff ran out. One minute. seconds I need like 15 seconds to walk there or ride rather oh a baby that's a lot of money I don't know if I can sell it for this amount but it's going to have some decent stuff what is this guy what is this guy? This is a gatherer, I think, but there are people. Or maybe he was just using some kind of skip set and has combat items in his gear, uh, in his in his inventory. Okay, finally in a tier six desert. Let's see if I'll find as much hide as in the T6 forest. The thing is, this roads portal there is really good for me. So I can very comfortably gather in this eastern corner. Seeing some hyenas. Seeing no corpses. No corpses are really good. Oh, there's a corpse. Gather bonus plus two. Which passive do I have? Life I don't need that. Would prefer damage. Could also be killing the tigers on the side because they're very, very not tanky, very squishy. They die very quickly. But I don't want to gather them. I would be gathering them instantly, so maybe I should be gathering them. Oh, six by two. Two 
two out of five is not terrible. 6.2 fiber stack, but somebody died there. I don't think I'm going for that. Uh, I really would like to do that though. 6.2 fiber, 30 pieces. But people are there. There's even a circle, so. People are dying there. Built by the same person. Both of these now dead people. Now he killed the third one. Oh, that's a rare one. Now check that. This aura is very out of place. <laughs> There's an... <laughs> pretty weird to see it like that. It is a tier 8 in that. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I want tier 8 resources only and 7.1 and 6.2. Lucky, 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 lucky. Very lucky. Yesterday night. A legendary mist. Today a tier 8 mist. Money. Okay, any gathering area in this map? Not really. So I'll just go the usual route. And gather all the tier 8 resources that I see on my way. Juicy tier 8 stuff. It's a dual mist. So I need to be somewhat careful. It is possibly dangerous. Did I already switch to invisibility? I did. Nice. Should be pretty hard to kill me. I am purgeable though. Bad tier 8 resources. Getting rich. I need to find these resource mobs. Those are the best money per time. Resource mobs, tier 8 resource mobs. Any. Gathering tw them twice as quickly is a very important thing. Because I get the tier 8 resources very slowly. And I could be finding enchanted tier 8 resources instead. Taking so long to gather this. I really need some higher levels. But I also need some higher tier 8 levels to get higher IP on my tier 8 gathering gear. So, pretty good. Pretty good to level this stuff up. Getting some more IP on my gathering gear. Tier 6 side is not enough when I'm here. Tier 7 tree, tier 7 fiber, tier 7 1 fiber, uh, but it's protected. How much? Only one. Only one piece. Not worth it to kill them up. There's tier 8 wood. <laughs> Level 40. Probably my highest tier 8 resource. Fiber is on like 33 or 34. 33, 26, 25. 
Basil actually being my second highest. Uh, not Basil. Mm, what's it called? Marble. Marble and wood. Resource mobs. Would be amazing. Tier 7 only. And actually, again, an entrance to Brazilian, funnily. Pretty funny, pretty funny. <clears throat> but if it's really the case that it's easier to find um, Brazilian portals in the yellow zone, and I think that's that uh, that that's a really bad thing. Why do you want to make it so easy for people to transport stuff? Shouldn't it be hard and dangerous? And shouldn't it be impossible to just teleport with gear to Brazilian? I don't know. I think it would be more fun. If it was more dangerous and harder to get stuff there and likewise more rewarding this guy doesn't have invisibility potions in his invent in his potion slot right now go away But he may have invisibility potions in his inventory. I will find enough tier 8 resources. I don't need to give him an opportunity to gank me. Even though he rather looks like just a straight up PvP player. Not too much like a full ganker. 6.3 is good enough. Tier 8 stack. 7.0. No. That's bad. Okay. This is something I'm looking for. Yes. This is really good. Twice the gathering speed is so valuable when gathering these extremely slow high tier resources. I really hope that I will find more of these mobs. That would boost my money per time quite a bit. Also, it would be really amazing to find a resource mob that is enchanted. I would like to see that. But I probably shouldn't be running around only to look for resource mobs. It's probably better to take all the tier 8 stuff that I see. Even if I'm gathering it slower. Because sometimes you just do not find these things very quickly. While I was gathering it, it was replenishing the stack. Going from 2 out of 5 to 5 out of 11. Uh, 2 out of 11 to 5 out of 11. Kind of funny. But constantly gathering tier 8 resources is definitely good enough. Definitely very solid profit. Also filling my journals. Pretty good. But there's definitely the potential for me to find even better stuff in here. 
even though it's only a rare mist. So finding enchanted stuff is probably less common than in a legendary mist. Anything else? A nice resource mob somewhere. That's something. I'm so close to the mob though. I could kill the wolf. Probably better to do it. Oh, I missed the queue. Because I would probably get aggro of the mage anyways. I need so long to gather this tier 8 wood. If it was standing there in the top. And tier 6 height is really not that bad. <laughs> when I'm running around with this gear. Also gathering it extremely quickly compared to the tier 8 stuff obviously. Money, money, money. I mean, I've spent how long on this myth now? Five minutes? Ten minutes? And I've gotten... I don't know, 400, 500? Around 500k? Really good. Tier 8 resource mobs. Where are you? So full. Like. Feels like 1 tier 8 mist can sustain around 3 tier 8 gatherers. Oh. Well, in the black zone, it feels like it can't even sustain 1. The things are respawning here so quickly. Three tier 8 gatherers could easily just gather and gather and gather the whole time and not run out of resources. That's what it feels like. I want to find more resource mobs though. I was pretty lucky with the 8.1 marble. Got 8 pieces. From 3? Or was it 4? If it was 4, then it wasn't that lucky. No! The mist is closing. A tier 3 mob. Nothing I'm too interested in in the mist. With this gear. Two seven resource only. Two seven. All right, it, <laughs> this was a duo mist. Totally forgot about that. But it's a rare one, so a lot of solo players are in here as well. What are you doing there? Playing mobs, okay. Where are the tier 8 resources? Maybe I'll run into another tier 8 mist. 6.2, not good enough in a tier 8 mist. Not good enough. If 
Tier 7 height is good enough. Especially with height gathering gear. Definitely good enough. 3k per piece. Getting a big bonus as well because of my gear. Gotta take that. Let's see. I didn't have any tier 7 hide in my inventory beforehand, so I will actually see how much money I will get from this. Seventy five K definitely good enough. Definitely good enough. Switching to invisibility. Didn't find too many tier 8 resources in this Brazilian portal corner in the west. Pretty, pretty weird. Like in the south and east, I found quite a decent amount of tier 8 resources. But in the west, I didn't find any. Maybe... Maybe this means something. Maybe there are simply less resource spawn spots around this Brazilian portal. Possible. Okay. Tier 8 resources. There is something. Yeah, and I'm not going to be able to finish this before the portal closes. Oh wait, is this better? Is the hide better? Probably, right? It's probably better. Because of the gathering bonus. And because it's the most valuable tier 7 resource. And I'm gathering it much quicker than the tier 8 wood. One tier 8 wood piece is worth 4.6k. Yeah, and I'm gathering this quicker and I'm getting a gathering bonus on it. So actually a better decision to take the tier 7 hide here. Getting quite a lot of money from tier 7 hide already. Can I get one more? Probably, right? Yep. Oh, my pork pie ran out. Um, back to the tier 6 desert. Pretty nice <laughs> extra loot. Randomly finding... The tier 8 mist. Somebody has been taking the fiber. Mysterious stranger picked up money. Oh, all the hyenas are dead here. I do want my poison before I really start engaging into the fight. I want to kill them relatively quickly. But I actually managed to get hit by the slow. Two out of five, even though there are a lot of corpses lying around. I think I was like either for 10 or 15 minutes in this mist. Probably something in the middle. I think I've gotten like 700-800k. Oh, 
all the tier 6 and tier 8 stuff, uh, tier 7 and tier 8 stuff, it's all from the mist. I'm not in the best position here to, well I'm close to the road spot, who cares, let's take a look. 220, 340, 480, uh, 640, 740. I got 740 plus 9k. Plus I filled like one or two books. Definitely got a lot of gathering fame there as well. So pretty much around 800k I would say. Considering that I've also uh, finished a couple of books or filled some a lot. Not finding too much hide here. In this tier 6 desert. But I'm not very deep into the map yet, so... A little bit too early to call it. A lot of hyenas are gone though. So maybe this map is not dangerous enough right now. Anyhow, from here I want to go to the southwest. In one hyena. I don't have my poison. Running. Two out of five though. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teleporting here cost me 94k. When I got a bunch of tier 8 resources in my inventory, this makes stuff a little bit more expensive. Gonna take this. Uh, everything. A book or a baby? A book from the hyena. A hyena that likes to read. Gathering this tier 5 I would be instant, but it would be a lot of carry weight with a very low value. Mm -hmm. I want to check out the north. I'll go a bit further, and if I see nothing, I'll just turn around. I'm getting a little bit of ore and fiber, I guess. Is that enough reason to continue walking this way? 5 out of 5? Is indeed something. Five out of five enchanted. That's something. One piece is worth 1.6 basically. Hmm. But a corpse. But enchanted or full. Full or <laughs> what should I think of that? Finally finding an animal again. Another one down there. Haven't reached the tier 7 map yet. Haven't seen dangerous people yet, interestingly.
Like, who, who did I see in the black zone? Did I see anybody? Is everybody just playing in the mists? Possible. But definitely can't gather as many resources in the mists. And if you go from Brazilian, then selling these resources in Brazilian is just terrible. They're not worth anything there. Like 25%, 30% cheaper. Pretty rough for the money per time. Black zone definitely superior. When wanting to sell resources. I'm wanting to get nice amounts of them. Hmm. Felt like I found enough stuff. And this is only going to be on one out of five, right? Two out of five, nice. Get the bonus plus two on this juicy stuff. Definitely not gonna say no. Small chairs, two minutes fifty. I'm not seeing any people. Should I take a look at this? I want to look at the middle anyways. Not seeing any people. I mean, most people would also not be too interested in uh, tier 6 desert, I would guess. The profit is solid, but not insane. And there's tier 7 desert right nearby. But people who are ganking in the tier 7 desert could be checking out this map here. Let's take a look. I'm going into this direction anyways. Oh, my poison ran out. Scraps of height. A 5 out of 5 hyena. Nice. That's what I would want to find. That's what I want. But not finding that too often. In this map at least. 5 out of 5. 4, four out of 2 should be good enough, right? Let's see how much that is. 12k. So 1k per piece, almost. Almost 1k per piece. Uh, 1 minute. So I would need to hurry if I was very interested in that. Five out of five. The all stacks are pretty full here. Okay, let's take a look at the chests. Let's switch. Oh, there are a lot of hyenas here. A lot of corpses as well, which is sad, but I'll come back to this place. Let's first look at the chest. I'm pretty far away. But I'll be there in time. There is a person. This guy is just a gatherer. Oh, and he was faster than me. Unfortunate. Probably an A player. Because I'm pretty sure I clicked opening this chest earlier than him, but probably an A ping then. What you gonna do? Probably an A ping. Unlucky. 
In theory, I could have attacked him, but I don't think that that's worth it. I'm pretty valuable, I've heard. Somehow my inventory has an estimated market value of 2.68 million. And my gear is not insanely cheap either. Boom, 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 boom. Another hyena. My poison ran out. If he had low IP, uh, low PvP fame and was not in a group, I could have attacked him. Oh, but uh, this would have put me into combat. Making it possible for me to die. Dying is not very good. Okay, so where were the three hyenas? They should be up here somewhere. I do want to use my armor before going there. So let's take this opportunity to gather these three pieces. There they are. I want the other one as well. Okay. Triple kill. All only one out of five though. Um feel like I should be going towards the southwest. Or should I also check out this place here? Probably not. Let's go to the southwest. Let's take a look. This was no hyena, if I'm not mistaken. Or can I pull these together? I probably cannot. I can pull the one in the west and the east there. Four out of five. That is better. Oh, it's a little bit far, but should be okay. I'd rather use my E than getting slowed. Five out of five again. That's very nice. It looks like I'm not going to reach the tier 7 desert. Finding enough stuff here. Five out of five. Not finding as much tier 6 side as I'm finding. Uh, ooh. I thought 5 out of 5, that's really good. As finding um, a 6 ore. But this stuff is also more valuable. But I also have to kill these mobs first. Hmm. Would basically just need to test it a couple of times to get some reliable average values to compare it. Getting the full hyenas here. And I'm so full on carry weight already. This little corner here seems to be pretty good. about to say that usually I would have a much higher amount of the tier 6 resource that I'm focused on but 
It's just that my carry weight is already so full because of the of all the tier 8 resources. Otherwise, I would probably be able to gather a little bit longer here. No dangerous people so far. Even though this is a pretty good map for gankers. It's a pretty good map for ganking, like... I'm running around here in places where I would have a very hard time to escape. Like right here, for example. I'm totally cornered in. Would be really damn hard to survive here if a big ganking group came. But I haven't been seeing gank big ganking groups, so... Well... Uh, 104k to teleport. Distance, 4 regions. Pretty good loot, cause... <laughs> a legendary mist. Uh, not a legendary one, just a tier 8. A rare one. But if it's tier 8, then you'll get rich. Loot. Oh, I still have the old loot. Um. Boom. How much do I have here? Two point two eight million. Oh. Mm, and I think that's going to be it for now. I was running around for 51 minutes or so. And got a pretty nice amount of money. Even though I'm not exactly sure how well I did in the Black Sun. Because the money from the mist is also... Maybe putting it a little bit higher than what I was actually getting. 